Well, look at that. My pest regard got rejected. Again. Um, this means my parents must have put a block on it. Well, this used to be a problem, and I did do my fair share of, um, information on the internet, but the programs that I found, or just things that I found that you can do to get rid of that, are quite complicated. Well, in a sense. Basically, things like password recovery or getting to your password through command prompt, that becomes a bit of a problem because if you screw up, um, it's hard to cover your tracks. The reality, however, of the situation is that most of the time people aren't trying to get back into their computer. It's teenagers that have been blocked by their parents and are trying to open their system because they've been sitting on their computer too much. Um, so for those of us who want to do that, we really don't need to overcomplicate things. So I figured out a really easy way to do that and erase our tracks and it's dead simple. So let's get on to it. Okay, so let's try one more time to enter my password and get rejected again. Okay, so safest thing to do, we're turning off our computer or restarting it. But instead of going back into this system, we're going to safe mode, which if people have tried this, you'd know. So, in order to get safe mode, when we're on the screen, right here, um, I have to press it. When you press F8, press F8, and you can see you have the Windows XP Home Edition. Press F8 one more time, and scroll up to safe mode with networking, and enter, enter, and wait for it to load. So after a bit of waiting, um, you should be on this screen. This is my dad's evil account, which I just can't access because it's password protection. This one, um, I actually put a password in this account just in case you figured out what I'm doing. But this account generally has no password, and as soon as you click on it, you press enter, you should be able to get right into it. But I'm taking precautions. Okay, so Windows is running safe mode. Click yes to that. And your safe mode looks a bit awkward, but that safe mode. Okay, so from here on, what you need to do is go to start and control panel. And when control panel opens up, um, you go to user accounts right here. I'm not sure how well this can be seen from the camera. Okay, so here's our accounts. This is you. This is the evil one. And this one I wouldn't suggest turning on because it becomes a really difficult thing to turn off. So, there are two things you can do right now. You can either um, create a completely new account. It doesn't have to be password protected. And you can delete that account later on by logging into the same thing. So, let's just do that for a practice. So, Julie. Actually, no. I might. That's my old account. So, uh, Okay, and you usually put computer administrator just because it's better. So here's our new account, which can be accessed if you go back into our system. So okay, here's my new account. Now, uh, restart your computer and watch. Now would you look at that? We got another administrator right here. So from here, um, you should be able to access just about everything you want unless you password protected it from your other account. So here we are. Um, generally I have programs on here, but they're all actually right in here. Yep, all my programs, Adobe, Macromedia, everything. Whoops. Um, and also another thing. You should have um, all your drives in here. So here's my C drive, for example, E, D, F, and I should be able to get into these. Like this is my drive from my other account. Um, however, sometimes, like this one, I protect it with a password so I can't get into it. Now, if you really want to open your account, 
there is one thing we can do. We go back to control panel from this account, because this is our computer administrator account. Um, go back to user accounts, and in user accounts, we can click on this account, and we can change the password. And better yet, look what else we can do. We can take our administrator, and we can change the password. Isn't that just nice?